Hello everyone, it's Douglas E. Welt and welcome back to another container garden update. Now thankfully I don't have to come to you with this message very often, but wow, I have had a complete and utter failure with this recycled container. Uh, I don't know what went wrong. It's plenty warm, it's plenty moist, I put three sets of seeds in here. Um, now I will say, I've had some issues with um, the seeds I've been using. I checked the expiration dates, they seem fine. Uh, some are a bit old, but the, there's also some that are very, very new in there. Um, so I don't know what happened. I'd be love to hear your comments, your thoughts about what happened with this container. It seems to have good enough drainage. I've seen the water come out. It seems to stay moist, but despite thinking that I saw a few things popping up in here, over time, I really see nothing happening in here. This is just, I don't know what went wrong. So please send along your ideas. Let me know what might have went wrong with this container. Um, maybe we'll try again with some other seeds and see if we get something out of it. But right now, I'm sort of mystified. Now, as you've seen in uh, previous updates, that having some trouble getting the basil to grow in the other pot, I've decided to try it out in this pot. We're gonna move it. We got a little empty space right here and uh, I've got some little kale seedlings right here but they're not doing very well so I'm not really disturbing much um, but we're going to go ahead and plant some uh, more basil in this pot right here and hopefully get us a nice set going here. So I'm just gonna open this up a little bit have our pot out. These we picked up at the garden store yesterday as part of our monthly budget series. We're going to move a perfect hole. Look at that. Is that right in there where we need it to be? And we'll get him in there. And let's see. I think we have another one right there. <clears throat> I've talked with other people around the area. And basil seems to be problematic there. I can't believe with our relatively Mediterranean climate that we would have such issues with it. But I don't know if it's the heat, the cold, the water, the dryness. Whatever, I just don't know what is giving us such fits. But, you know, I figured these were $3 a piece for these transplants, and we'd at least give it another good old college try here in a different pot. So we'll have to see if there's some issue with uh, you know, fighting the peppermint in the other pot. I don't know. Again, a lot of questions this week. On container garden update love to hear your comments your thoughts about uh, you know what I could or should be doing in here um, let me know let me know if you have any special hints about basil uh, I think I could use a few at this point this is just part of the idea you know I don't reckon I don't represent myself as an expert but uh, rather as someone just out working in the garden much like you now one thing I have been wondering is if these pots didn't need a little uh, nutrients. Um, containers are notoriously bad for leaching nutrients out of the soil because you're simply you're putting water in, it's running out the bottom, taking quite a bit of nutrients with it. So going looking for some organic solutions to some um, nutrients for this pot. Let's see, I'm going to take this, I'm going to see, pull this basil out while we're here. It, oh boy, it rooted really well, but uh, did not do much. Came up and sort of that's interesting to see how well it rooted in there, though. Um, but what we're going to do here is we're going to top dress these pots. <laughs> Sorry about that. We're going to top dress these pots with some little uh, worm castings. Uh, I was looking around, talking to people online, and it seems like worm castings are a really great idea for adding some fertility to the soil, also some conditioning to the soil, uh, without using heavy uh, commercial inorganic fertilizers. Um, which, you know, frankly don't need to use in the garden. These are just some pots. I really don't need something quite that strong. So I'm just going to top dress with this. I'm going to top dress all the pots and uh, we'll see if this spurs some additional growth here. I've got to be a little careful because I do have some plants in here already and some seedlings right over there that I don't want to cover up. Um, and we'll water this all in and we'll just see what, uh, see what it does for us. Wasn't that expensive at the uh, gardening store and uh, worth definitely worth a try. Uh, I don't do worm composting myself. I have friends that do, but um, if I had some nearby for doing well, then certainly this would be a great use for it. Again, I'm going to uh, top treat all the different containers we have, including our hanging pots and stuff like that with the, uh, with the worm compost. So that 
that's it for this container update. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'd love to hear your comments on uh, what I'm doing in my containers, what you saw earlier in that recycled container that I was trying to use and didn't get any seedlings from. Let me know what's going on. Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear what's going on in your garden as well. For more information, you can always visit the website, douglasewelch.com. You can find us on YouTube as well at youtube.com slash dewelch. Until next time, in your containers and in your garden, keep digging. Oh, my God.